Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skyline. My goodness me, that's uh, a lot of aircraft going on. City Skylines, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, we built the uh, airport recently and, uh, and as you can see it's, uh, it's doing its thing. Uh, <laughs> these planes are fair tear assing around. Um, that's no bad thing. Um, how many passengers have we taken? 26 passengers. Uh, clearly they're getting a, a jumbo jet each. Um, right, so, uh, we've recovered from the plague, uh, the, the plague has got itself back under control again, and, uh, and we're back over 100,000 population. Now, I promised, and it's exactly what, why, why, hold on a moment, you are out of power, which means that we need to start ramping our budget back up again. Let's just keep everything ticking along a little. And what I found before was that once I hit kind of, you know, my max population, I was making enough money uh, so that, come on, you should be fine now, uh, so that, you know, we were raking it in and I was able to ramp the budget, uh, you know, pretty healthily up to uh, up to a max level. Oh, it's just they're not connected. Why are you not connected? What is this? Oh, it's some enterprising individuals who once again... Uh, have, uh, have decided to build before everything's ready. So, yeah, we put a couple of landmarks up last time around. Uh, we had two whole visitors to the Mall of Moderation. Um, terrific. As uh, as this new area kind of kind of grows. So, I'm happy to leave that alone. In fact, we've, we've pretty much filled this island. Um, and we've got this area here that I could put some industry in, maybe. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna let that be because today, as advertised, we're going to take on this beast. Oh my! Uh, right, let's have a look. Is our priority system still in full effect here? Yes, it is. Okay. Now we've got queues coming from every conceivable direction. And part of the problem with these queues is uh, is actually getting people back out. Now, I would... I'm going to tackle this one anyway. Part of the problem this one's got is people trying to turn right. If I made this left turn only, I'm sure it would be... Oh, it's got traffic lights. Right, well, let's turn them off. Uh, and we'll put priority signals on there. Go and uh, where are we? Change lanes. This one, no such thing. You're you're turning left. That'll take a little while to percolate through, but the upshot should mean that this queue un uh, unpacks itself. Despite the fact that's not a causal problem of what's going on here now. Historically, I have. Ah, see, I've done it over here. This is the one I'm thinking of. I've put a bypass route in to help traffic reach the uh, the opposite side. And my God, is it ugly! But uh, but it does. I mean, you can see for yourself. The 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 upshot traffic wise is uh, is really quite pleasing. Right. What have we got going on down here? Every ambulance in the city, it seems, flowing up the street. Oh, flowing up the highway, and then. Why are you... Why is this carnage? Okay, fair amount of carnage in that place. Um, yeah, so... Hmm... What's the best way to sort this out? Because we want this moving pretty... Con what's the problem with you, truck driver? Just make sure these lanes are set up correctly. Yep, you can't go straight if you're in lane one. Ah, now this. Ah, ha ha. Yes, good brain, brain kicking in. Um, reminds me of a suggestion that was made, which was instead of these slip roads that we have here now. And I'm going to pause the game while I do this. Um, instead of the slip road like that, the uh, the better thing to use would be a piece of one-way surface street because you get two lanes you get two lanes from service street which means you can have double the number of people queuing on there at the same time I know it's a it's a, a worrying and and uh, potentially bothersome idea however 
if it works, it could uh, it could free things up. Let's uh, let's get it moving and see what we get. Now, I mean, we're still going to end up with the problem that uh, that people are trying... Why are you all trying to turn onto that lane while... Uh, no, I don't want to do priorities. I want to do lane changing. Yeah, you can't, you can't turn left if you're in the middle lane. That's just a bad thing. I apologise for the, the, the sheer quantity of sirens going on. Is there really no other way you people could have got over here, which seems to be where you're trying to go? Why not use local ambulances? Honestly, our, our ambulance cover is is a little wacky, to say the least. So let's uh, let's give that a moment or two to settle in. That's not going to fix it. It might make life a little better, but uh, it's not going to fix it, I don't think. Now, I mean, the other alternative there is to put, you know, a big uh, a big six lane to make a, a triple Q, effectively. Look at this. Look, you've now got this idiot here, this police car, is trying to change into the middle lane so that they can leave on there. I don't, I don't profess to understand it even slightly. Anyway, right, we'll leave that be for the moment. Uh, what I do want to do, however, is I want to take on this big beast. And uh, it's been a long time coming. Loathsome land occupying pain in the backside is what it is. Don't get me wrong, it's an effective way to move traffic around, uh, but it does use up far, far too much real estate, and as such, it's gotta go. Right, okay, so let's, uh, let's de-wacky as much of, uh, as much of this as we can. Uh, which way are you coming? You're going upwards, so let's put the highway back in. Now, of course, I have just deleted that with no real idea of, of what I'm going to do as a replace. No, you're coming this way. Okay. Uh, with no real concept of what I'm doing in, re in return. No, that's not the actual road we wanted there. We want highway, please. Right. Okay. Good. So let's uh, let's think this through. We've got this kind of. I mean, there, there does need to be an intersection here. Um, yes. Okay. All right. No. All right. All of that stuff I just built. I don't think I'm going to have that in the slightest. Maybe even go a bit further. Let's just unpause for a moment to get the loose traffic out of the way. There we go. <clears throat> okay, I think what I'm going to try is I'm going to try a big old roundabout here. Um, it, it may lead to its own uh, its its own particular woes, but uh, we'll soon see. Now you don't see you don't get a measuring stick with highway. Freeway, motorway. So what I shall do instead is I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use this little little roads here just to mark out a quick. What are we looking at? Two, three. Okay, and then from the middle of here, two, three. Except no, no, no. You're making that. That's no, no. no. You're not. You're not thinking that through. Yes, you're, I mean you're measuring accurately enough, but it's going to be one and a half from the middle, isn't it? Uh, so the the half point is when you get that second ruler turn up. See it? See that? That's halfway. There you go. Important safety tip. Uh, one. There. Okay. Right now, if I now uh, now highway circle all the way around the outside of that. We'll get, this is going to be a, it, it I take it from me this is not going to be the most glamorous circle you've ever seen since a certain amount of, of judging by eye is being done but that's okay 
Now, I've I've mucked about in the tool set previously to try and make one of these. Uh, and this is, you know, it's a, it's a mega roundabout. Um, and the, the concept I had was it would be, you know, one roundabout down here and then another one, you know, a, a deck upwards and, and further further roundabouts higher up and all kinds of crossing bridges and all kinds of nonsense like that and uh, couldn't get it to work so uh, you know expect this not to work either right uh, if we bend that off over there now I'm pretty certain that this isn't the best way to go however if I get priorities and I get um, uh, correct lane usage sorted out. This could help. I mean, I, all I'm trying to do is just alleviate the queues that were forming anyway uh, beforehand. No, I want, I, want to, I want to curve the other way if possible. Yeah, like that, but coming from here. Yeah, because that's, that's odious, that, uh, that little kink in the road there, so let's maybe... That's the fella. That'll do. Yeah. Much better. Uh, good. Right. Next. And. Now, I mean, the, the big question is going to be how much of the, the through traffic that we're getting is... Uh, uh, do I like that? I don't like that. Let's come a little further. That's even worse. No. Oh, come on, this shouldn't be that difficult. Almost. There we go. If you're going to build a, a, a wiggly road coming off something, it's worth doing it right. So, here's, you know, what I had before, which I think was, you know, could even have been contributing towards the, uh, the trauma, was that we've effectively got... We were, the, the, the clover leaf here was being able to be used as a bypass for people that couldn't be bothered going around the double hexagon here. Um, and, uh, and while that's fine and, and only natural, it wasn't... It was, it was basically contributing to having a huge queue here that was holding up traffic coming off there, helping to, to exacerbate the, the queues going on. Maybe. Uh, anyway, we're going to... Do I want to repeat that? Having just said that it was, you know, woeful and somewhat of, of a desire. No, no, no. Look, why are you? If I give you that, there we go. That's pretty ugly. That's a counterintuitive bit of road. Hmm. So what? This is a this is a leaving. No, actually, that wasn't that wasn't so bad. Let's go for go for something a little bit more freeform, shall we? Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. That's not that cool. That's coolish, cool esque. All right, and bring you down in the opposite direction. Get Mr. Freeform back here. Now, using this the the, the freeform road thing, as I mean, you've seen me do it often enough, but uh, it it does make for some uh, eccentrically wiggly roads. Okay, so that's all of the routes that we had before. Now plumbed into this roundabout. Now that's going to be bedlam. I almost guarantee it's going to be an absolute nightmare. So what? See, I'm see, I'm looking at that. You can see that I, the camera is pointing at what I'm looking at. I am looking at this corner here, thinking actually this industrial area, giving it another route to uh, to this intersection would be very useful indeed. It's going to create for some heavy traffic on here, but that road is at least geared up to support heavy traffic. Now, I could make it one way, so I could just make it a route in. 
but I think when it comes down to it, you actually want it to be a route in and a route out. So let's uh, let's plumb that through as far as there. What do we got? Okay, okay, right. So I'm going to need to work on this junction. Um, however, I think we might be on to uh, onto something with uh, with a little potential. Time will tell. I mean, obviously, the more things you plumb into a roundabout, the uh, the worse the traffic is going to be. I mean, that's uh, you know that's pretty obvious. Uh, where are we going? So, what what are you doing? You're coming in the opposite direction. All right. So, some kind of a steady on. Something like that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. So this is this is step one of the plan. Step one of the plan is let's bang all the traffic on there and see what happens. Uh, step two will be um, uh, now create bypasses. This is why I've made the circle so big. So here we go. Let's uh, come on traffic. Have at it. Let's see what we get here. All right, so we've got a fair chunk of this lot that wants to go down here. It's fairly understandable. Now it's going to take a it's going to take a minute or two for things. There we go. See, this is what we're getting. All right, where are you lot going? You're all just turning left. So there may be, there may, in fact, there is definite merit to be had in pulling a, uh, a junction off there, just to just to ease traffic from uh, from joining that queue in the first place, because they all want to get into this industrial section. Now, of course, this in itself is going to create uh, traffic uh, monstrosity happening down here, but uh, one thing at a time, people, one thing at a time. It's not exactly free-flowing, is it? Okay, traffic management time. Let's start by going priorities. So I'm happy to create a queue in order to uh, in order to keep the, the roundabout flowing because once this thing jams up, as you have seen on numerous occasions, once the roundabout jams up, there's not a lot you can do with it. Uh, no, thank you. Right, yeah. Let's actually let's actually put the right priority signals on there. Pri priority signs. Okay, right, that's that. So what do we got? We've got a tailback starting there, which is odious. This is still the big one, though. So what I need to do is... I've got to figure out where these guys are going. Are they all turning left? Presumably some of them are going right. So some of them are heading onto the main interchange, but you would think that traffic with that intention would actually go up this way instead. So if they're all turning that way, where do they actually want to get to? Redeveloping this this train, uh, the, the cargo dip, uh, station station. It's a station. Uh, this cargo station is uh, it's on my it's on my to do list. I, I dislike the uh, the traffic woes it it is causing. It looks like they're all trying to turn left, and a fair chunk of those guys are trying to move down off down here. But it's not backing up yet, because well, not enough of them are getting on there at once. So that's my uh, you know that's. That's the quick route to success. What are you people doing? Why would you be avoiding lane one when that's the one that peels off? All right. Okay. We can help this. We can we can make a difference to the world if we change this lane structure here so that you can't. You have to be in the left-hand lane. Maybe that will. It will either make it better or it will make it worse. I don't think it will remain unchanged. 
Well, hold on, hold on. We've got we've got movement. Uh, that was where the big queue was. Well, we fixed this big queue, and I'm not sure why. I think they might have been. I think people might be looking for a new exit now, which doesn't make sense to me. Intriguing. In fact, no, what it's done is nobody's coming from this direction anymore. They're now all... They, they've entirely changed the... My God. Traffic mayhem. Huh. Okay. Uh, I've mentioned previously that the the, the hexagon is is long overdue a, uh, a an update, and I think you know I, I think the update in question might be tunnel related. Um, I know, brace yourselves. Uh, okay, now what am I going to do with this? It's baffling because I don't know where they're going. Let's follow this little truck here. He's coming off there. Yeah, well, that's 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 a given, isn't it? And he didn't even he didn't stop at the cargo station in this queue. Next to uh, next to a similar looking friend. Where are you off to? Where are you off to? All right, coming down here. Forgive the lack of commentary here. I am fascinated to see where this chap's ending up. All the way down here. Okay. Right, well, that's that's just about the worst route that anyone could ever be offered, isn't it? So, really, you've come up there and you've gone all the way around here. Is there no better route than that? Okay, right. We can help. We can help with that. Let's uh, let's do a. Uh, ooh, what shall I do? Still one of these. Okay, right, and then uh, up it a smidge, and then hope that everybody's going to play ball as far as pillars are concerned. There we go. Look at that. See, that's that's road building masterclass right there. Now, it, that's going to take a minute or two for people to actually figure that it's a thing. But if people are coming out over here, then it might mean that instead of queuing up over this way, they, uh, they decide to take this route instead. Now, this doesn't have heavy traffic at the moment, but I'm trying to get people off this section up here. Hey, even garbage trucks using it, I'll take. I'll take that as a total victory. I see. So I've basically just made a garbage truck slip road here. No, that's getting a bit of use. And here's a here's a critical piece of thinking, or at least a piece of thinking I consider critical. Uh, every time you uh, you take someone off one bit of road, uh, that's one less car on that road. Yeah, there you go. Really? It, it felt like it was going to be more profound than that in my head, um, rather than just stating the obvious. Uh, no, but one fewer car in the queue can make all the difference. Uh, it, it can be the, the, the change that, uh, that allows things to move smoothly. What have we got? We got any more uptake on here? Uh, maybe a little. Okay, well, you know, it was it was worth doing, and it is part of the modern philosophy of uh, give people options of ways to go. This one, however, oh, look at this. Look at how popular that is. Amazing. I am not thrilled about four-way traffic lights at that particular junction. Okay, that could do with roundabouting. That's going to create... <laughs> so popular is that... Uh, that it fixed this. That's how popular that was. 
Right, now all we need is just to allow the... the uh, well, actually, is it necessary, do we think? I'd rather not have any queue at all there. But things are getting out. It doesn't seem to be getting much longer than that. And we have completely fixed this roundabout. And uh, moved it all over here. Well, I never did. So this needs this needs some traffic management, and we, okay, right. That's next time. So next time around, we're going to look at this road here. Uh, why am I concentrating on roads again? I well, you dig it as much as I do. Otherwise, you wouldn't still be watching. Skylines is all about roads. Um, so next time, I think we'll try and tackle this this kind of whole mid section through this industrial area. Make something that actually works for the. Uh, I think part of the problem with this cargo station is that uh, it's on a main thoroughfare, so there, there is there's a lot of traffic going through there anyway, and we've just compounded it by adding a, a station to it. So I think uh, we're going to put all you guys out of business and uh, and build something that that helps funnel traffic around. But there we go. That's this queue here was that queue there. Oh, look at that. There you go. How to create uh, hellish traffic in one easy move. I do give lessons. Uh, so, uh, you know, if you want private tuition on how to uh, create a masterful cock-up of traffic just like that, do let me know. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, because it's the in thing to do. And I'll catch up with you very soon. Thank you very much for watching. Cheerio.